Now that's Doc Wong, and he's kind of a legend here in the Bay Area motorcycling community for a number of reasons, one of them being the Monsoon Ride. Now what's the Monsoon Ride, you're probably wondering. Well, the Monsoon Ride is really just the absolute worst possible day you could think of to get on a motorcycle and go out for a ride. So by now you're probably scratching your head wondering why the hell would anybody do this? So let's make a list. If you've done this before on your own, you already know how much fun this can actually be. But you probably also realize how sketchy it can get as well. Hence why if you can get a group of people or friends organized to do this together, it's not only a blast, but it's also actually pretty smart. So one of the biggest perks of doing this type of a ride in a group is that you really don't have to stress out so much from all of the unknowns. If something isn't going exactly as it should or according to plan, whether it be a mechanical issue or perhaps some obstacle in the way, <coughs> The beauty of this is that it's really a problem for the group to solve at this point. One of the other perks of doing this as a group is that it makes it easier to overcome adversity. So what I'm trying to say is that you are certainly not the only one who is cold and wet, so stop whining like a little bit. Number two. We're talking about practice. We're talking about practice. That's right, Mr. Iverson. We're talking about practice. Look, the reality of the situation is that you're going to get on your bike one day, and it's going to be absolutely gorgeous out, perfect riding weather, and then some random ass storm cloud is going to come, and it's going to ruin your day. Oh, ruin my day. Most people realize that their bike is going to handle differently in this kind of weather, but they may not know how to handle it, which is a really important distinction. The fact is that motorcycles are some of the most precisely engineered vehicles on the road and can handle just about anything you throw at them. So if an incident occurs, it's likely to be from rider error. The point is, it's best to be prepared, so managing things like acceleration and braking, your lean angles and your body position along with throttle control, all of these things are changing because your limits of traction have changed. So it's important to practice and become familiar with this. Remember that everything is magnified, so focus on how smooth your inputs on the bike controls can be because that's really the skill you want to develop. Lucky number three. Excuses are lame. If you're serious about improving your riding, you should absolutely look into doing something like this. I sometimes hear people say that they would totally do it if they had the right kind of bike. have a bike, so therefore you can do it. Now if you don't have waterproof gear, get yourself some cheap rain gear or some pullovers or whatever you can get at a local shop. They're really cheap and they're definitely worth the investment. And lastly, try not to think too much about it and just have fun with it, because after all, you're on a freaking motorcycle. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. I've really had a lot of fun making it, so I hope you enjoyed it. This is my first attempt at trying to make a video like this, so if you like what you see, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it means a lot. Give it a like and leave me a comment down below. And if you're going to try and do a ride like this, share this video with your friends.